Hey, how y'all doing today? This is Josh from Keep It Techy, and today I want to do a quick video on the DF command. Now, the DF command is stands for Disk File System, and it's a, a utility that, that's in that's built in most uh, Linux distributions that allows you to uh, get a full summary of the available and used disk space on a file system. So anyway, the purpose of this video is for me to show you a few of the commands and some of the options and so you can get a clear understanding of how to use the utility uh, so sit back relax and enjoy the video let's get started so i already have the vm up and going right now uh, this is actually anteragos i've never did a video on anteragos before but it's a uh, orch based uh distribution that uh, and I, I set it up to use the let's see if I can log into this thing but I set it up to use the uh, KDE plasma desktop I like the way it looks um, but this is not a desktop review so I'm gonna get into the command let me wait until this thing pops up or actually logs in Okay, cool. So let's open up the terminal. I'm pretty sure. There we go. All right. All right. So let's uh, make the text a little bit bigger. There we go. And the command I was using to make the text bigger, you can do control and then the plus, the plus key. Um, and that'll make the text bigger and smaller if you hit the negative so or the minus so first off let's run the command um, as normal and it's uh, DF and just show you just to show you guys what what we get so it puts it in a format um, it's in a column style format uh, file system uh, and then it's the block size which is put in bytes it, it ex expresses it out to bytes and then uh, the used uh, amount of bytes from the full size of the, the block and then the available size that's left it's left over and then the used percentage and then as well as the mounted location because you have a file system and it's mounts at a certain location so uh, whenever you set it up SDA2 is normally put at root uh, SDA one is normally put at boot it's because it's the first uh, partition on it on the drive but anyway um, just to show you that's that's the information that it pulls up by running a basic command now I want to run it uh, a separate so let me maximize it because I know this command actually pulls a lot more information so um, the option is dash a which as I explained in previous videos, the dash A option, most of the time in these type of utilities, stands for all. So it'll pull all of the uh, file systems on the system. So, uh, and a lot of times that, that includes uh, temporary file systems uh, and just different, different uh, like uh, dummy, what they call dummy file systems that are set up for applications different things like that so it'll show you all of the information that's out there or all of the file systems that are on there and where they're mounted and the size that they're using and i believe that it, it also uses memory as well it also uses memory so um so let's clear that out and i want to make this thing a little bit, bit back smaller so i can show you guys a little better the rest of the commands are pretty, the results are pretty small, so I'm gonna make it back small. But, um, so the next option I wanna show you guys is the H option. So when running that command, basically what it does is it puts it in a format that's easily readable by humans. Meaning that we're so used to looking at stuff in megabytes and gigabytes and terabytes. We don't really look at things in bytes and under fully understand it so this will um 
put it in the its respective uh, format. So if it's less than a gigabyte, it's not like here, 993 megabytes, it'll put it in megabyte format. And then uh, if it's, you know, less than terabyte, you know, it'll put it in gigabyte format. So 36 gigabytes. And it shows you the amount used and the amount available. So, and the percent is just like uh, the other command. So that's pretty pretty easy to understand. Basically, all it does is show it in human readable format. Um, and also, this is the reason that they do this is because back in the day, when a lot of these commands were written, um, hard drives weren't weren't as big as they are now. And so uh, that's why when you run the base command, it pulls it up in bytes because back in the day um a lot of these commands were you know written for unix systems um especially like these utilities that that have been around for years um the hard drives were not as big so that, that's my interpretation of why the default uh shows it in bytes format so um so moving on so the next option I want to show you guys is the dash capital T. So that's DF dash capital T. And with this option, you have to specify a location. So uh, let's say we only want to look at the home directory. So that's what this is for. The dash T is for uh, to look at a specific location. Um, so if you press enter on that, It'll pull just information for that specific location. And home is under root, that's why it's pulling it like that. Uh, so um, it'll it'll do it at the the root the root location. Because if home was in a separate location, yeah, it would pull up its own uh, uh, file system. But since it's uh, underneath the root, then it just pulls up the same file system as root. But anyway, um, and also you can run this command along with other commands like the uh, dash H option. You throw that in there and that'll fix the block sizes for you. So you run those together. So let's clear that out. So the next option I want to show you guys is the dash K. And this, I just want to show it to you so you will know and uh, it kind of ties into the next option I'm gonna show you guys but if you use the dash K option it will basically show it in kilobytes so that's the kilobyte format which is the same as running it uh, normal it shows it in one kilobyte by bytes or blocks um, so uh, it's really no need for that that uh, option but it's there. Uh, that's why it pulls basically the same information um, because it's already put in kilobyte format or bytes format uh, when you run the uh, normal command. So let's clear that out. And what I meant by it ties into the next one is DF M. And this will allow you to put it in megabytes format. Let's say you don't want to see the gigabytes. You want to see only the megabytes format of the file system sizes. So if you type df-m and press enter, it'll only put it in megabytes format. So uh, that 3.6 gigabyte format that we sh saw when we put in human readable is, is actually 3,500 uh, megabytes. So that allows you to put it in megabyte format if you only want to see it in megabyte format. So let's clear that out. And of course, you know, when you run DF dash H and I'm going to just run it again, just so you can see, that's how you, you make sure you catch all the gigabyte stuff. So there is no option to show, uh, strictly in gigabyte format. So it won't show like a 0.9 gigabytes. The only way you can see gigabytes is by running the dash H command or the dash H option, uh, with the DF command. Okay, so the next option I want to show you guys is the dash T option by itself. I want to highlight exactly what it's it's showing you. It actually pulls in another column. So I want to revisit that one um, by pressing enter. And it actually took and basically what it does is it adds the file system type in there. 
so that's what the cat the dash t option does you can also you know like i said specify uh, a specific uh, location or a specific mount point um, to pull or you could just run it and it will show you all the system file types so that's just a way to show the file types if you ever need to just see the file types and with that being said there is another kent command i want to show you guys so let me uh clear this out and it's df dash lowercase t and what that does is uh you can specify the the file system type you want to pull so if you only want to see ext4 file systems you could type ext4 press enter and it'll only pull the ext4 file systems um so sda2 and sda1 is there and also you can do that with any other file system so let's find out which another one right fast uh let's see dash t and there are no ext3 so let's just run a let's just run it on that temp file system so you can run that on that as well so um and actually i didn't have to copy it so was that temp uh, FS and press enter and there you go it'll only show the temp file systems or temporary file systems in their location size and all that information and then also with the with the dash T you could type in the uh, the lowercase H as well and it'll put it in human readable format for you so it's good to know so another way to run the DF command and let me clear this out um, but I want to show you guys the dash X option and basically the dash X option will exclude everything um, exclude a certain file system that you specify so let's say we want to exclude the temp what file systems and press enter See, it'll exclude all those temporary file systems and you can do the same thing uh, for ext4 so I know those two or ext4 the boot and root right here so I'll run that command and it'll exclude those so it's just another option I wanted to show you guys and lastly I want to go through and show you guys the man page so you type man uh, df press enter and it'll bring up the man page. You can scroll up and down on it. It'll show it'll give you uh, all the options you can run with this command. So uh, the ones I covered and as well as the ones uh, some that I didn't cover. So good to go. And then you press Q to quit. And then also you can do uh, DF dash dash version. I believe and it'll tell you the version that you have and then also if you need help you can type uh, DF dash dash help as well and that'll spit out the full um, man page it's a, a shorter version of the man page uh, it cuts out a few little things but it's all the information is there so anyway that's the DF command I hope you guys enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe um, as I said, more videos to come on Linux topics and other topics. Uh, also, you guys do me a favor and keep it techie.